Hey YouTube, it's Erica with Croupins Poopin Scoopin and welcome back to my channel. All right you guys, in today's video we're gonna talk about aerations. Now you might think, why would we wanna talk about aerations on a poop scooping channel? Well, here's why. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give a little backstory about aerations just in case you're not too sure what aerations are. When I first started my poop scooping company, I had no idea what aerations were. And when I first encountered them, I was like, what the heck? Why are the dogs pooping all over the yard? Where did all this poop come from? It's not poop, you guys. It is lawn plugs. And I will insert a clip somewhere, I think up top. I'll insert a link for you guys to go check out that video when I ran into spring aerations. Right now we're headed into fall aerations. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about aerations, what they are, what kind of what they look like, and some possible extra revenue for you with your scooping business. So if you're interested in hearing about that, stay tuned. All right, so I did some Googling to find out what the actual definition for aerations are because I just didn't want to say, oh, there's there, there are these little pluggy things that come out of the grass and they're laying all over the grass and they kind of look like dog poop sometimes. I wanted to give you a little bit more of, of a professional type description. So what are... <laughs> I got my notebook. So what are aerations? Aerations create a small hole in the soil to allow air, water, and nutrients to penetrate the grass root to help producer a stronger, more vigorous lawn. What is the main reason for aeration? So what's the main reason for aeration? It's basically to alleviate... It's basically to alleviate... It's basically to alleviate compact soil. Now, who's a good candidate for air, air? Now, who's a good candidate for aerations? Areas that are heavily used, such as like playgrounds, um, areas where there's a lot of attraction back and forth, at where the ground is getting heavily compacted, grass that has dry or a spongy type texture or look to it or areas that have been sodded. Now there's a couple different tools that you can use for aerations. The first one isn't the most favorable and this is a spike aeration. All this does is poke holes into the grass. From what I read, this isn't the most favorable type option. The second option, which is the most favorable and the most beneficial for your grass is plug aeration and this is where they it's like a round it's like a round thing and it goes down into your grass and actually pulls out a plug of the the soil and the grass out of your lawn this right here is the one that you need to watch out for as a pooper scooper and i'm going to tell you why <laughs> Let me tell you guys, when I did my first, um, was my first spring? Yeah, it was my first spring. I was just starting to, you know, get the groove of the poop scooping thing because I had started in the fall, had a couple uh, customers through winter, and then came into spring. I remember I had scooped a yard. It was beautiful. I left that yard. It was mwah, wonderful. I was like, I feel really good about that yard. I went back the following week, and there was dog poop all over the place. I was like, wait, what? Well, what? Where did all this dog poop come from? But luckily, the week prior, I had seen a post about aerations, and that popped up in my mind. I was like, wait a minute, these, these are aerations. So I looked up like lawn plugs on Google, and then aerations popped up, and I read it, and <laughs> I was like relieved. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, thank goodness this isn't dog poop. What the issue is, is when you have smaller dogs, say for instance, like the little lap dogs, they have the smaller poop. And these aeration plugs, when they are fresh and wet, they can look just like the poop piles. So it's hard when you're trying to scoop, you're like, is that poop or is that a plug? I'm not really too sure. You could spend, I, I'm telling you, you could spend an hour there just going back and forth trying to figure out what one's poop, which one's not poop. But if you have a house with a larger dog, then it's really not that big of a deal because, I mean, the poop's bigger, you can definitely tell a difference. But when, 
those yards are aerated and the dogs have the smaller poo piles. Oh, it's such a pain in the butt. So this is what I do. This is how I handle this type of situation. I will scan the yard normally like I do, do my, do my two passes because I like to do the grid pattern and get whatever piles I can up. And then I send the, the homeowner a text message and let the homeowner know. Say, hey, you know, just got to your yard. I scooped it, but I did uh, notice that your yard was aerated. Um, that's wonderful for your grass, blah, blah, blah. But what the issue is, is the, the poop piles and the aeration plugs look very similar. So there is a good chance that I might have missed some piles. What's going to happen is these plugs are actually going to dry out over the next week as long as we don't get, don't get any rain. So next week I'll be able to tell the difference between the poop plugs and the poop piles and I will be able to get up anything that I might have missed. A lot of times the homeowners, they don't care. They'll send a message be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to tell you. I didn't even think about it. Don't worry, honey. Thank you for letting me know. I really think that it's all about communication. Communicate with your customers and just let them know. Like, hey, listen, your yard was aerated. I, I tried, but there might be some piles left behind. When are aerations usually done? Aerations are usually done in the spring and then they're also done in the fall. So you have your spring aerations and your fall aerations. So those are two of the times of the year where when you're gonna run into this type of situation. Now there's really good money in aerations. I don't exactly know the price points, but I, after watching a lot of landscaping videos, I was like, huh, there is some really good money in aerations. So I'm just gonna pepper this out there. Uh, this isn't something that I do as of right now, but it's something that I kind of have thought about. I mean, I really feel like this could be something that you could add on to your service for like extra income. It's something to check out. I mean, I don't really know too much about it. Um, I've talked to my husband about it and we have kind of tossed around the idea. Next year, maybe, maybe this is something that we might offer. Um, to our, our homeowners that already don't have landscapers, but maybe they do want air, aeration done. So from the research that I had done, it looks like you can either buy a machine or you can rent a machine. Uh, you would have to do your research, see how much those are gonna be, but it's definitely an option. Yeah, I think it could be real. I think it could be a good add-on service. Obviously, you're gonna have to do your do your research, get educated, make sure that you are doing it appropriately because you don't want to tear up anybody's yards. You also gotta make sure that you're able to do this. Make sure you have the proper insurance with your uh, your business to do this, or maybe contact a local landscaper and ask them some tips and suggestions. Maybe they'd be willing to do that. Or this could be a really good time to partner up with a landscaper and say, hey, listen, my, my homeowner doesn't necessarily want to have a landscaping company, but I did notice that their grass is dry or whatever it is, spongy, compacted, and they could really benefit from aeration. So you could actually develop a relationship with a landscaper, pitch that idea to your homeowner, right? and then bring the landscaper in to do the aeration. And then in turn, you've developed a relationship with your landscaper. The homeowner has a dog poop problem. They can hand your information over to the homeowner. But to wrap this video up, I just wanna say watch out for those fall and spring aerations. They can be confusing. Don't let them get confused with dog poop. If you run into a situation like that and you're having a hard time scooping the yard, just communicate with the homeowner and just let them know. Say, hey, listen, I see you got your aerations done. That's awesome. But this is what the situation is. Um, I'm going to wait for them to dry out next week and then I'll be able to tell the difference. At the end of the day, you guys, it's really all about communication with your customer and that's what's going to make you stand apart from a lot of other companies. So communicate, 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 you guys. I hope this video brought you some value. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, well, you know, there's a button for that as well, but don't do that. Hit that subscribe button. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and until next time, bye. So the tools that can be used for aerations could be these little like spike things. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know the real terms for this stuff, but you can use um, spiky things, a spiky machine to go in and it pokes holes. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>